Hello everyone. My name is Abdul Basil Ashraf and my supervisor is Professor Mohamed Siam. And I'm here to talk about future portable power generation systems. Today, the demand for portable energy sources that are compact, lightweight, and powerful has significantly increased in the recent years. And because traditional chemical batteries are reaching the limits, and this gap is, uh, is expected to widen in the future with the rise of the fourth industrial revolution men's devices, which are more and more small and need more power. An alternative combustion based micro power generator system was proposed for the first time by Alan Epstein in 1997. The trigger for this idea is based on taking advantage of the huge density of energy per unit of weight offered by the usual hydrocarbon fuels and the hydrogen as an environmental clean and renewable gas is chosen by the majority of researchers as the operating fuel. These microscale power systems are based on the conversion of the fuel chemical energy into electricity using several methods which could be indirect using moving parts such in the case of micro gas turbines or directly using basic physics phenomena like thermoelectric and thermophotovoltaic effect. And in the recent two decades, several prototypes have been built. The future application of this promising portable power sources, as you can imagine, are limitless, and it would just in the next few years power a variety of applications and devices, starting from our smartphones and laptops to the men's devices and especially the military arms and vehicles. Scale definition is a very important point in the study of microcombustion problems, as several scaling definitions of microscale combustions have been used, and they are between 1 cm to several micrometers. However, the length scale is expected to decrease further for the next generations of devices. The major of problems of microcombustion based thermophotovoltaic systems is about ensuring the flame sustainability and uniform distribution of the temperature and improving the conversion efficiency of chemical reactions energy, as today just about 3 to 4 percent of the total capacity of the hydrocarbon fuels. The flame system, uh, sustainability depends on many factors, and its extension or quenching is due essentially to protein changes in these factors and conditions. In case of bounded flows, the flame system, uh, stability depends also on combustor size, shape, and gas to wall surface interactions such as basic heat loss and heat loss. The diameter of combustion length scale below which the flame quench and cannot propagate is known as quenching diameter. To overcome the problem of quenching and stability, several solutions were proposed and analyzed by several researchers, and we can mention as example the step back catalytic compression uh, Prose media and plug bodies, or by using complex combustion chamber shapes. And in this slide, we can see the schematic description of the experimental setup used by the experimental studies. It consists of a gas feed system, a mixing chamber, and a, a micro combustion chamber, and the temperature measurement instrument. In the present work, we conducted a numerical study using the CFD software ANSYS Fluent in aim to better understand the effect of both geometry size and fuel inlet velocity. A non-euler microcombustor was employed in this work, and structural guide was adopted in aim to ensure the mesh independency, a comparison of the center line gas temperature profiles in the channel for different grade sizes is done, and this and in this regard, the optimized grade was chosen for the next simulation. And as we can see in the figure on the left, a comfortable agreement between the numerical simulation uh, results and the experimental ones is achieved. In the second study, different flows rates of hydrogen fuel were used for different combustion diameter and at stoichiometric ratio to study the effect of combustion uh, distance and fuel inlet velocity and microcombustion behavior. This comparison shows that for the one millimeter case, the external wall temperature decreases rapidly after, rea after the reaction zone and then rises again at the position of 12 millimeter for the first flow rate and at 13 millimeter for the second one. This observation indicates that a phenomenon of secondary conversion is appearing near the outlet. The figures indicate velocity counter of the reacting flow and the temperature besides uh, a thermal image of the experimental microcombustor chamber. 
And as we can examine, there is a good agreement between the temperature counter of the simulation result and the experimental photo. This demonstrated a rational accuracy of the numerical model formulated earlier. Finally, thank you for watching.